change your heart, change your life, change the planet. Now imagine that there was one road to Cork from Dublin. The more people that travel that road, the wider it's going to get, the smoother it's going to get, the more money they're going to put into it. At first, it was probably a rocky path. And then eventually, they needed to make it a little bit better so they could bring carts or horses through. And then when we had the automobile, well, now we have to make it wider and smoother um, so that we can get cars through. And now, well, cars move faster, so let's make it three lanes in each direction and let's pave it perfectly smooth and have guardrails and signs and lights. And that, that little rocky, uneven trail has become a superhighway. So the brain works the same way. If we keep going down the same path over and over again, and that's the only path we ever go down, we start to go down that path faster, and we start to go down that path with more efficiency. We basically turn it into a superhighway. But the first time we have a thought, it's like that rocky path. So there's a lot of possibility. There's lots of things that can take us in other directions. Or we might get confused and we might even lose the path. But the more we've been on that path, the wider it gets, the more efficient it gets, the faster we go there. So our habits become lightning fast. And we don't even realize that we're zooming down to cork. Because it's happened so quickly, we wake up and, oh, wow, I didn't even realize I was in the middle of this habit. I didn't even realize I was in the middle of this behavior. It caught us by surprise because it's so efficient. What you want to do is you want to have lots of roads that go to lots of different places. And you want to have lots of roads that go to the same place so that we can take different roads to end up in the same location. And we want to make sure that they're not super fast and super smooth. We want to make sure that they're more like trails than roads. This allows our brain to be flexible and adaptive. And if there's a big accident on that major highway, well, now traffic is stopped and we're stuck. We don't have any other possibilities because we've invested all of our time and energy into this one road. And now there's a traffic accident and nobody can get through. But if we have these lots of different roads that maybe we haven't invested the same amount of time and money in, we can still get there. It's just going to take a little bit longer. If there's a problem with one of them, well, that's fine because I've got 10 others that I can use to get there. I won't get there as quickly, but when I do get there, I'll have a different experience rather than always having the same experience. And this goes back to goals. If you've got one direction, one path, one way of being that's getting you towards your goal, if something happens, you're stuck. You, you can't get there now. And it's so efficient and so smooth that you're not even really paying attention. You're bored. There's nothing new. There's no novelty. So by creating these alternate routes, there's always new possibility. And there's always the uh, possibility of interaction with something you didn't anticipate. But if you're driving down that road at 120 kilometers an hour, you really don't have a whole lot of room for interaction. You're not interacting with the cars next to you or the, the train that happens to be going next to the road. You're, there's no interaction. You just get there and that's it. There's no possibility. But when you've got these other slower routes where you have to stop in smaller towns and there's lights and there's stop signs and there's maybe people walking in front of the road or maybe a herd of sheep walking in front of your car, well now there's the possibility of interaction and there's the possibility of new directions that you never even anticipated. Redundancy is the key to resilience. Diversity is the key to resilience. The more diverse your experience and the more diverse your behavior, the more likely you are to succeed. And you might succeed with a single, well-traveled path for a while, but the moment something unanticipated happens, game's over.